become six semester research methodology unit one question what is research define and explain its meaning objectives and features of good research studies meaning and objectives of research research is a scientific and a systematic search for various information about a specific topic it is just like a search for truth and knowledge the english dictionary meaning of research is a a careful investigation or inquiry especially through such such through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge information about a subject can be collected by deliberate effort and it is presented in a new form after analyzing thoroughly in research work research is an academic activity it is a movement from the known to unknown which may be called a discovery different definitions different definitions of research are given by the experts according to redman and mori research is a systemized effort to gain new knowledge slinsinger and m stephenson defines research as the manipulation of things concepts or symbols for the purpose of generalizing to extend correct and verify knowledge whether that knowledge aid in construction of theory or in a practice of an art according to pm cook according to pm cook research is an is a research is an honest exhaustive intelligent searching for fact and their meanings of implications with uh, reference to a given problem jm francis rumen defines research is an endeavor to discover develop and verify knowledge clifford woody defines research is a careful inquiry of examination in seeking facts or principles a the diligent investigation to ascertain something ascertain something and objectives of research the main purpose of research is to discover answers to the meaningful questions through scientific procedures and systematic attempt the hidden truths which are not discovered it can easily come to light by research the main research the main objectives of research are to gain familiarity or to achieve new insights into a phenomena this is known as exploratory or formalized research studies and the second one is to describe the accurate characteristics of a particular individual situation or a group this is known as descriptive research studies and next third one to determine the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with other things this is known as diagnostic research studies next one fourth to test a hypothesis hypothesis means a tentative assumption is called as a hypothesis to test a hypothesis of a casual relationship between variables such studies are known as a hypothesis testing research studies next research objectives the following is, following are also called as the objectives of research number 1 exploratory research objectives exploratory research objective means the purpose of such a type of market research is to explore the market thus the research objectives are defined accordingly if the research objective was to find out competitive sales then the market research questionnaire needs to ask questions about how many brands are present in the market what are the number of products of each each brand how many dealers are present for each product what is the average sales for dealer for each product so this kind of exploratory research objective prepare you for a quantitative market research process and next one descriptive research objectives descriptive research objectives means descriptive research objective help you to find out why 
and action is being taken thus this is uh, the more on a quantitative qualitative research objective continuing above the example why are the dealers promoting and uh, that particular products in a locality why are the customers purchasing or preferring that product what are the features of the product and which attract the customers how is the cost of the product controlled thus these are more descriptive questions asking a question in why a customer buy a product warrants a long answer because there are many reasons to a customer might prefer a product or each customer pre preference would be for a separate reason thus designing the market research questionnaire when the research objective is descriptive becomes a difficult job so asking the otherwise the other would be a lot clutter in the market research reports and next the casual research objectives are a market research which wants to observe, observe the cause and effect is known as known to have a casual research objective so if you know the different reasons that customer are buying a product and you decide to launch a new product of your own then it will become a casual market research if you introduce a new product what will be the effect of the market will the market accept the product or will it reject the same it if the product can be rejected if the product can be rejected then what can be the causes thus the ca casual casual research will find all causes for the success and failure of a plan hence the casual research objective incorporates various elements of cause and effect in the market questionnaire and next one next one categorical research categorical categorical of research fourth one is categorical research categorical research categorical research according to the definitions categorical research exploratory research is carried out for a difficulty which has not been clearly defined it helps in figuring out the best research design data method and choice of subject it should draw the definitive conclusion on with extreme caution so this is called as categorical research and now characteristics of the research characteristics of the research the research is having the following characteristics research is directed towards the situation of a problem research gathers new knowledge or data from primary sources research is based upon observable experience or experimental evidence research is logical and objective applying every possible test to verify the data collected and the procedure procedure employed research is expert systematic and accurate investigation research demands accurate observation and description research requires patience and courage the researcher should courageously face unpleasant consequences of his findings if any research is highly purposive it deals with the significant of a problem which must be solved research is carefully recorded and reported everything must be carefully defined and described in detail research activity characterized by carefully designed and procedures which are to be analyzed thoroughly and next one the features of good research studies research design is a defined as a framework of methods and techniques chosen by a chosen by a researcher to combine various components of research in a reasonably logical manner so that the research problem is efficiently handled it provides the insight about how to con conduct research using a particular methodology 
and types of research designs a researcher must have a clear understanding of various types of research design to select which type of research design to implement for a study research design can be broadly classified into quantitative and qualitative research designs qualitative research design qualitative research is implemented in cases where a relationship between collected data and observation is established on a basis of mathematical calculations theories related to a natural existing phenomena can be proved or disproved using mathematical calculations researchers rely on qualitative research design where they are expected to continue why a particular theory exists and with what respondent have to say about it and next one quantitative research design quantitative research design quantitative research design is implemented in case where it is important for a researcher to have the statistical conclusion to collect actionable insights numbers provide the a number provide a better perspective to make important business decisions and qualitative research design is important to, for the growth of any organization because any conclusion drawn on the basis of number of analysis with will only prove to be effective on the business further research design can be divided into five types descriptive research design in a descriptive research design a researcher is solely interested in describing the situation or case under his and her research study it is a theory based research design which is created by gather analyze and uh, present the collected data by implementing in depth research design such uh, as this researcher can provide the insight into the why and how the research and next one is experimental research design the experimental research design is used to establish a relationship between the cause and effect of a situation it is casual research design where the where the effect where the effect caused by the independent variable is a dependent variable is observed for example the effect of an independent variable such a price on a dependent variable uh, such as customer satisfaction and brand loyalty is monetized it is highly practical reason design method as it contribute the towards the solving problem at hand in independent variable are manipulated to monitor the change it has on the independent variable it is often used in social sciences to observe the human behavior by analyzing two groups effect of one group on the other and next one correlational research design correlational research design is a non experimental research design technique which help the researcher to establish a relationship between two closely connected variables two different groups are required to conduct this research design method there is no assumption while evaluating a relationship between two different variables and statistical analysis techniques are used to collect calculate the relationship between them correlation between two variables is concluded using a correlation coefficient whose values ranges between minus 1 and plus 1 if the correlation coefficient is towards plus 1 it indicates a positive relationship between the variables and if it is minus 1 it indicates a negative relationship between the two variables and next one fourth one is diagnostic research design the diagnostic research design in the diagnostic research design a researcher is inclined towards evaluating the root cause of the specific topic elements that contribute towards a troublesome situation are evaluated in research design methods there are three parts of diagnostic research design inception of the issue diagnosis of the issue and solution for the issue and next one explanatory research design in exploratory research design the researcher ideas and thoughts are keys 
as it primarily depend dependent on their personal inclination about the particular topic explanation about the unexplored aspects of a subject is provided along with details about what how and why related to the research questions features of a good research design the features of good research design are often categorized by adjective like flexible appropriate efficient and economical and so on generally the design which minimizes the bias and minimizes the reliability of the data collected and analyzed in considered a good design the design which gives a smallest experimental error is supposed to be the best design in the many investigations similarly a design which yield the maximal information and provide the provides an opportunity for considering many different aspects of a problem is considered most appropriate and efficient design in respect of many research problems thus the question of good research design related to the purpose or objective of a research problem and also with the nature of the problem to be studied a design may be quite suitable in case but may be found wanting in one aspect or the other in the context of the some other research problem one single design cannot serve the purpose of all types of research problems a research design appropriate for a particular research problem usually involves the consideration of the following factors number 1 the means of obtaining information and second one the availability and the skill of the researcher and his staff if any and next third one the objective of the problem to be studied and next the nature of the problem to be studied and lastly the fifth one the availability of a time and money for research work thank you very much